Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim World video. Yes, another, because I'm quite enjoying it. This is going to be driving the 101. I've had a little bit, I'm going the wrong way, I've got to go back this way. I've had a little bit of practice with it. Um, haven't had masses, so I'm still learning. So do be warned, my driving will not be perfect with this thing. Uh, I find the keyboard controls a little bit bonky if I'm honest. Um, but slowly getting used to them, slowly getting used to them. Really enjoying driving the 101. Uh, still mastering the brake as well, the vacuum brake. That's something that's uh, taking a little bit of time to master. Um, I wish it moved a bit quicker, if I'm honest with you, on the, on the, on the keyboard commands. Yes, I can do it with the mouse, but it's a bit sketchy uh, for my liking. I'm running as fast as the train. Right, let's get in and get set up. I don't know what it's going to ask us to do first. I haven't done this one yet. Uh, main switch on. And then reverser forward even though I'd like it in neutral unlock doors to our right uh, we're on the way to Leeds aren't we Leeds that was Leeds Leeds excellent let's get these on to white white and then destination indicator one is on. Yep, we're cool. Uh, everything's running as far as I'm aware. Let's get our door closed. Are my tail lights on? No, 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 no. Let's go and set them. Then we've got a little bit. Let's put the blind to leads as well, I suppose. Uh, these down, red, red, on, what, L, I still, there we go, there we go. I still don't quite understand that, if I'm completely honest with you, the way that works. Uh, I won't lie. Let's get in here. Right, let's lock the doors. Leave it isolated. Right, I managed to get this actually to come up the other day. And it said unisolated. But we won't worry. It doesn't work anyway. Well, it does, but I don't think they've put enough AWS on the route, if you ask me. Right, let's go into forward. Let's get into there to neutral. Let's get you into Let's get the brake off fully. Let's get moving. It's a bit of wiper. I still have the speed limits up and everything like that just because it is helping me with learning the route at the moment. I'm, I'm not brilliant with it. Um, so it is sort me out a little bit. Try and keep it in the middle of the revs there while we just get out of here. Yeah, I'm, the speed limit thing I, I could in theory change, but I can't remember how to turn it off if I'm honest. Is there a way we can do it in the from the menu? Uh, settings. Was measurement unit, temperature unit, screenshot quality, da, 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 da. speed limit markers off. We're going to speed like hell, but let's do it. Oh, didn't save it, did I? Right, 
There we go. Because it tells us our speed limit there. I just I might run into them a little bit fast at times. Into fourth for coasting uh, in a first gen DMU. Keeps the dogs in the gearbox that go in right, stops you getting slip and everything like that. This does slip if you get it wrong. Quite like that. They've obviously watched the uh, British Rail, um, where the British Railway films, uh, British, yeah, British, British Transport films video, which is quite cool. Right now, okay, so we can probably go into seconds now. Yeah. And build up our speed a little bit. I know we're stopping soon, so we won't go too mad. Yeah, it, as I said, quite enjoying it. Um, the sort of dilapidated look about it. I think the more I've played it, what I've realised is it's like it's been, and they did sort of back this up in the stream. I did rewatch the stream. It's like it's been recreated from a photograph, if you get what I mean, which it kind of has been, which are quite light. But sort of the lighting and some of the stuff like that, I think it's been, it's sort of being seen from a camera's point of view and not necessarily what you would expect in real life. Now, lighting hasn't drastically changed <laughs> since the 80s. So, um, not really sure what their plan was with that. And that horn is still awful. Sounds really daft, but also something that throws me massively is yards. <laughs> I'm of the generation where we didn't do anything in yards. Like, really, really didn't do anything in yards. So how big an actual yard is. I know how big it is in theory, but trying to implement that into my simulator knowledge as well is uh, proving to be uh, trickier than one thought. See? Not brilliant at it. But it's a learning curve, and that's what I like about this game. I still call it a game. Whereas this is quite simulatory, it still is a bit gamey. Saloon light's not on. There we go. I should have been in neutral actually, gear wise, there, but let's go back to first. Let's put my brake right off. I saw in the stream uh, the guy was using the handbrake a lot uh, for hill starts and things like that. Now, while that is something that was done with uh, first-gen DMUs, I haven't found it that necessary yet. I'm going to eat my words now because I'm probably going to uh, find myself rolling away at some point on this.
Uh, that's me just turn motion blur off. That can be done with control F2. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's possible to do so on the console version. Uh, I may be wrong. Also really liking like the, the lighting inside the cab and stuff, apart from the bright bits right up there, but the way it sort of shines down on here and things is actually really nice. downhill now. It just so needs cabsway. I love the fact I can see what the other engines are doing. That's really cool. I've also been told the external uh, engine start and stop buttons work as well. Uh, I think this ends up in a depot. Uh, so we might have a play with those if we can. Nice. I still find it quite relaxing though, and challenging at the same time at, at points, I quite like that. If this is the way that the train simulator is going to go, uh, train simulator world is going to go, um, I still don't think this is the right choice. I still think that they're going to—they're spending an awful lot of time finding ways around issues within the Unreal Engine. Um, that's, that's an issue, that is an issue. Um, we still haven't seen Steam, which personally isn't a big issue to me because I'm not that fussed about it uh, in Train Simulator, but it would be nice to try it out and see what it's like. The The multiplayer aspect of it for me would be a, a great um, what's going on there? A great aspect, so you could basically have a fireman and a, guard, a, fireman and a driver. That would be very, very cool. Um, more to do as a driver and a fireman than a driver than, than, a, than a second man uh, as such. So yeah, it is a bit of a shame it's not there yet. And I say yet, I still don't know if we're actually going to get it at all. I'll be completely honest with you. There's various things. I've heard several things. I've heard yes, it can be done. And I've heard no, it can't. So uh, we'll wait and see on that one. it's going to be a very harsh stop here but I think if we're going to keep getting little bits and pieces like we're getting with these now these are getting better uh, don't get me wrong um, there are bits getting better uh, left then yes okay if you're going to get a 40 mile stretch maybe 60 miles at tops whatever um, and it's just going to be little bits and pieces like that. It's never going to be a network as such, is it really? Um, which I think would be very nice. I know there's no limitation on tiles. Uh, that's that's not an issue. Oh, I've got my instrument lights on. So the game only loads up the tile that it's in at the time. That's fine. 
I get that. I spoke to Matt P about that actually. Uh, Wally. Um, the thing to remember is that it's not only the tiles that it's loading, but it's also loading the stock. And I think that's where they're hitting issues is that there isn't enough that, especially on the consoles, you're getting shortened HSTs. You're also getting things like um, slightly different lighting. We good? We good? We good. So we still are seeing that 40, 40 mile limit. I mean, a lot of the time DTG will say it's down to root building length and time, that sort of thing. Now they're getting quicker at it. We're seeing these things coming out in much quicker succession. I would rather they spent a, a little bit longer. Oh no, I didn't put it in, you see. Spent a little bit longer and gave us a longer route. That would be quite nice. Uh, there's a bit gone up today, yesterday, about um, mesh tools. So Ed Fisk and his wonderful work in Train Sim World so far, which I am brilliant. The guy was very, very good in uh, Train Sim Classic. Sorry, it's quite hard talking and doing the gears on this as well. It's baffling me, I won't lie. But that's that's what this is meant to do, isn't it? It's really weird going past signals without any uh, AWS though. Now in the thing they said that the AWS was new in the 70s. The 70s? AWS originally came about the first bits, I think we're in the 30s, the first trials. By sort of the mid 70s I'm pretty sure most of the network was covered. a bit early there but that, that's right at the end of the platform that one um, so I would have expected can somebody back this up All right, I'd like to know the answer to this I can't be 100% sure but I find it hard to believe somewhere like the Trans Pennine route now fair enough it was going to be whatever it was going to be and all this and all that I'm pretty sure in the early 80s it had AWS In fact, let me lock the doors. See, so still, still getting round the controls sometimes. They're not, they're not the most intuitive things in the world. Um, I'll look forward to the day where we can uh, edit some of those ourselves. Alright, into first. Release the brake off pretty damn quickly. Oh, don't just put Transpen on Route 80's picks in, you're not going to get anything but Train some World at the moment. I don't know, maybe they didn't have that much AWS on it, but I would expected it to have. See, my gear changes are still sloppy at the wrong time. Oh, I'm not even going to Leeds, Alan, you plum. We were going to Manchester, Victoria, weren't we? How many of you guys have been sitting shouting at that screen since I did those destinations? Own up. Own up. Stick it in the comments below. Do own up. I 
Oh, it was a 30 limit. That was a bit naughty of me. So the vacuum brake, remember, is how how much you, how quick you, how far you open that is how quick the brakes are going to come on. It's not done in percentages, so that's why I tend to keep it in lap. And then the release again is how quickly you release those brakes. So you'll often see drivers wally in that round, and that's because they're looking to get those brakes off really quickly. Now my guess is we're going to get some much much slower speed limits coming in here, so I'm going to just keep slowing right down. One thing I will say about this route is I don't notice the track popping in now as much. Uh, I'm not saying it doesn't do it, it does still do it, but I don't notice it as much. Also, speed limit signs seem to be not that present. some slow speed like that, 15. And there was me messing up the brakes because I went straight to full, which is really stupid of me, which means I want to get this back into first. Proceed restricted speed. Even though it's not my signal. That'll be my signal down there. Also, I'm not seeing any rain effect on the exterior of the train. I'm pretty sure that we had that before. Again, maybe we didn't. So I'm going to do the brake by uh, by mouse now. It does tend to make it a little bit easier for me. Okay, I think we're changing ends. I think we take this one to the depot now, don't we? So let's get you into neutral. You're in off anyway. Let's turn you to red. You to red. You off. Now control key. Do I need to do the control key? I'm guessing we do. Oh, wiper. Let's have a little look around Manchester, Victoria. Hmm. It's a bit odd, isn't it, that ground? Is that what it was like? You'd have had runaway suitcases. That had never passed any disability regulations these days, would it? Sort of going down towards the platforms. Hmm. Okay. Like in a bowl. It's another thing, if you were around in these times, what's this station like that? Because to me it sort of undulates and then comes up. That look, just looks like something that's a bit... I don't know. To my young brain, 
to my railway youth. It's not something I would have seen, I don't think. I'm trying to think if Cent Castle Central had a bit that was like that. I'm not sure. Right. Uh, lock the passenger doors. You can take out service, change ends, and run over to Newton Heath Depot. Wicked! Going to a depot. Haven't been to a depot yet. White. White. Off, because we're not going anywhere. Yeah, that's all been done. Let's get you into forward. Into gear. Break off. Oh, am I... Do I, do I, mm, I might not get my brake off. Just thought about that. No, I'm not going to get my brake off. No. Because I left that handle in fully on. don't quite know the procedure. I'm going to have to watch the change and ends procedure again. Uh, on that video. I'm sure it probably would be handbrake on, release the brake, then to this cab, release the brake. Would be what I'd think. Yeah, that's my brake coming off now. The exhaust to get a little bit of extra engine power. We'll be on 15 out of here. See, the line still does look off to me. Still does look a bit off. But I do like it. I don't like the lighting. That's a, that's a lie. I don't like the lighting. I like how it all goes, though. Oh, have we got rain on the window there? No. Pretty sure even in Test Classic we had rain on the windows. Be a good time to check the engines. Look, see the difference. The RPM. So this is looking at the front engines and rear. Forty. Really. Not for long, I'm sure. There you go, 20. I'm not going to go too much above 20 because my guess is that I am very not. Why am I 29 yards and it's following me? Shut down the active controls and set the master key to off. I'm still doing that. Oh, it's because I'm shut down the cab properly. We've still got quite a way to get to the depot, haven't we? Ooh. 
Oh, if you go too far away, you get a loading screen. I'm going to hop out of the chair on this a second. I'm going to be brave. If you ever see a driver doing this in real life, get behind a seat. Drop. Because you're probably about to hit something. Got a lot of passengers coming with me if I'm going to depot. Ah, it was you. What's it still think is... Um, what if I leave you in lap? Yeah. Yeah, we've done that. Let's uh, just play the game. The way it runs through the tutorials is uh, a little bit bonky, I won't lie. Like the help bits, you know. enjoyable run really let's go max revs in two And through him slipping. Is it quite like that? Did it. Right, completely off. Wait for my reps to drop down and give it a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Should hold us right. I wish I could use that. So yeah, questions from you guys in this scenario, this video, of course, are, was AWS active on the Transpanon route in the 80s? Please don't say if you don't know. It's one thing I ask. If you have seen a picture where it's been there or something, say, I've seen a picture of this and that and other, but don't say yes and you don't know, because if I then use that as a fact afterwards and I research and it's wrong, it's wasted my time and yours. I'm going to go and read through my DMU mag uh, manuals again and watch the videos and speak to my mate who drove these for years. I keep saying he's got to come and have a go at this since it's come out, to be fair. My speed's gone up since we've been able to come into the depot, really? It should be like 10 through here, max 5 even. Oh, 
if they modelled like a depot, we're going to actually be able to see inside a depot. That's cool. They, everything looks to be outside of it at the minute. eating all my vacuum away doing this. Secure the train and disembark. Okay, so I'm guessing that means you there. You there. So the handbrake apply and the mask is off. We actually have to put you into lap, don't we? Lap. Fly then. Try lights off. None of these work over here. I'd like to see those work. Uh, wiper needs to come off. And then okay, spoon out. Just like a key off. Climb down and take a break. I oh, quite like the way you're having to um, move around on that and go to a different place to like. Oh, what? There's no doors open. Really? Oh, so close yet so far. Could I mess about with the engine start stop buttons on this? Fuel caps open. Where are the start stops? Ah, here. Come on, you've made them textures. Look at the state of them. Right, so they're pressable. I'm guessing probably like we'd have to put the control key. Oh, I quite like the fact you can do this. You know what I mean? Just walked up to another train. I'm now messing about with it. I quite like that. Just put it in forward and see if it does it. No, I'm, I'm sure they probably do work. I quite like that idea. I'm going to find out how they work and do it one day. Let's finish up this scenario. All right, then, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Limit clearance I needed there. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to Facebook. Uh, links in the description below. Also, head on over to the Facebook page, uh, which is listed in the description below. And last but not least, Twitch from a Sunday at 7 p.m. and a Wednesday at 7 p.m. Hope you've enjoyed this. Take care of yourselves. And I will catch you next time. Didn't do the Manchester Victoria stop, unfortunately. <laughs>